everyone, Luke Strains here. Welcome back to another video. Hope y'all are having an awesome day. And today we are going to be installing a Digitrax DCC decoder in this Amtrak P42 from Aster and Ready to Roll. Uh, we gotta unbox the decoder first. But before we do that, I wanna go over some quick updates for the channel. So first off, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Uh, now that school's back in session for me, I've had a lot on my plate, but it's great that I'm getting the time to record this video, and I've got a, a few others I've recorded a while back that I'll work on getting edited. As you can probably see, the fleet has expanded. So, my mom was looking through the garage for, I don't know what, and she found these old trains that I had when I was little. Uh... When I was little, I was I really loved model trains, and then I grew out of it, and then I grew back into it. And I even had a layout, it was the Woodland Scenics Grand Valley, and I just had the time of my life. But you could see that, that those additions have almost doubled in size, and these specific cars and locomotives have been missing for so long, we were so happy to find them. So let's go ahead and start by taking a look at this locomotive right here. This was my first locomotive and my first train set. It's a Santa Fe F unit, Bachman, pretty light. This little Santa Fe switcher, I, man, I loved this thing when I was little. Also DC. We've got, this trolley right here, which doesn't run too well, also DC. Bachman Conrail GP35, which runs DC, but makes a heck of a lot of, heck of a lot of noise. Over here, we've got, this 1860 to 1880s old time passenger car. This is the uh, combined baggage passenger coach. And over here, we've got this Bachman Direct Current, uh, Great Northern 060, and it does actually make steam, the steam fluids right there, but it has a funny air on the box. Yeah, I don't really think that's Southern Pacific, don't you? All the way over here, we've got this... This Bachman 260, painted for Santa Fe. We've got this uh, Chesapeake and Ohio hopper from Bachman there. We've got that Santa Fe caboose all the way in the back, and then those five AM fleets. And speaking of Amfleets, the locomotive we're going to be installing DCC in. Another thing from this lot. It's going to be... This is an Atherin Ready to Roll P42, and then it's in a Phase 3, I believe. So let's go ahead and dive right in into how to put a Digitrax DCC decoder into this bad boy. Alright, so we've already... The first step, obviously, would be to remove the shell on the locomotive, but I've already done that, as you can see. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and open up the decoder. Uh, I can't remember when I ordered this from, but I will put a link to their website in the description. Scissors probably aren't the best thing to use for openings of packages. Actually, I'm going to go get my knife. Alright, I'm back. And do not worry, no packages were harmed in the making of this video. It's pretty awkward. I have to stand behind the camera for this, so. Okay, let's try a different approach. There we go. Tape off on the sides there. Uh, 
almost there. That should do it. So now, the moment of truth. And there we go, we got some paper in there. And then here we actually have our decoder. So, all right guys, so here we have our eight pin decoder. I'm pretty sure this would actually work on a nine pin thing. And this locomotive actually has an 8-pin socket right there and a 9-pin socket, but we're going to be using the 8-pin today. So this is the uh, Digitrax DH166P. Let's go ahead and open that. Alright. Oops. Well, I failed this unboxing already. Here, I'm gonna go get remover. Let's see if I can get that out of there. <clears throat> there we go, I got it. I, the only part I don't like about Digitrax is how they staple everything together. It's pretty annoying. Alright, there's the coder. And if I can get the staple out, then we'll have a look at the manual. So, we finally got the staple out of the manual. All right, step one. It's gonna be hard for you to see that. Let's see if this works. It says remove the locomotive shell, which we've already done. Remove the jumper plug from the socket. It appears I do not have a plug unless this is one. No, the plug wouldn't have an open end. Insert the DCC orange wire plugs into the hole marked one. Give me a second guys, I'm gonna take a closer look. Alright, so I didn't find the pin right now, but we can go ahead and assemble it. So you have to take this little foam off here. We do have the eight pins. Alright, next, so you just plug these two in. Alright guys, so change of plans. This, the uh, Digitrax DH166, is actually compatible with 9-pin as well. This part here, the wires, that's the actual harness that comes from 9-pin to 8-pin. So, you can plug this directly in into the locomotive's 9-pin socket. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. All right, so this little thing here, we gotta pull it out. All right, so now we've got the little cover thing off and we can see we've got a blank socket. Let's go ahead and uh, put the decoder on there. Alright, we're zooming in for this part. Let's check that out here. How does that go? And. Hmm, I may or may not have it on there. Let me check. Alright, guys, it looks about... It looks like we just about got it in there. Ugh. That should be good. So, 
Next step is to put the shell back on the locomotive. All right. And down the wires, it's on there pretty well. Open up the shell a little bit. I guess I do it this way, and then there we go. Slide that back a little bit, and then Put it over its clips. Where are the clips? Oh, there it is. One's on a clip. The other one's on. Oh! Rip P42. And then. The other one. And then one in the front. All right, so the locomotive is now almost fully assembled. All I would have to do from here is put on the coupler, put the coupler boxes back on. But right now, let's go ahead and take it over to the test track, see if our installation was successful. All right, I booted up, I booted up, booted up the DCS fifty two. Moment of truth here. Turning on the track power. All right, well nothing shorted or caught on fire. Let's go ahead and select address 3. Oh my goodness. It worked. Yes. My childhood locomotive runs again. It's a bit noisy. We'll see what we can do with that, but it isn't exactly screaming like a Bachman or anything. Uh-oh, it's going to hit that box. Well, folks, I can't believe it. About $30 later, and we got ourselves a runner. So while the decoder installation was successful, we do have a bit of a problem that I missed when I was putting the shell back on. So the headlights do work, but as you can see, only one of them is lighting up. And in the rear, you can also see that only one lights up. Actually, I think that's one. All the lights work, I think, but those two have been pulled out of their socket. So I'll have to take off the shell and put the lights back in their position real quick. All right, folks, we've now got the shell back on and the couplers reinstalled. I took off the shell and fixed the lights. And that's gonna go ahead and conclude this video Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. Uh, that's, that's it. Thanks for watching.